Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 71. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Mass appears red because of the presence of the, which of the following compounds on its surface. Mars is known as the red planet because of, it looks red from Earth. The reddish color comes from the high concentration of iron oxide compounds which is essentially rust in the rocks of the Martian surface. Who among the following was the immediate successor of Guru Nana? The correct answer is Guru Angad. Guru Angad was the second of the ten Sikh Gurus. He was born in a Hindu family with the birth name as Lena in the village of Harike in northwest Indian subcontinent. Surdas was a disciple of which among the following? The correct answer is Pallavacharya who is also known as Vallabha and was a Hindu theologian and philosopher who founded the Krishna-centered Pushti sect of Vaishnavism in the Braj region of India and the philosophy of Shud Advaita. During the reign of Devaraya II, which of the following famous temples were built in Vijayanagar Empire? The correct answer is Hazara. Hazara Rama Temple in Hampi is an important shrine. It was built in the early part of the 15th century by the then king of Vijayanagar, Devaraya II. It was originally built only as a sanctum, a pillared hall and a Ardha Mandapa. Later, the temple structure was renovated to add an open porch and beautiful pillars. In which year Raja Ramohan Roy established the Atya Sabha, a precursor in the socio-religious reforms in Bengal. Atya Sabha was a philosophical discussion circle in India. The association was started by Ramon Roy in 1815 in Kolkata. They used to conduct debate and discussion sessions on philosophical topics and also used to promote free and collective thinking and social reforms. Treaty of Yandabu was signed after which among the following? The Treaty of Yandabu was the peace treaty signed on 24th February 1826 that ended the first anglo burmese war. The treaty was signed by General Sir Archibald Campbell on the British side and the governor of Ligai, Maha Min Thin, from Burmese side. Which among the following don't come under the purview of right to education? The correct answer is madrasas. The right to education or RTE Act uh, is not applicable to aided or unaided minority schools as per the Supreme Court ruling of 6th May 2014. Although the RTE Act is constitutionally valid, according to the Supreme Court, such schools cannot be obligated to reserve 25% of seats for students from socially and economically weaker sections of the society. In which state is Jongsong Peak located? Jongsong Peak is a mountain in the Janak section of the Himalayas. Jongsong Summit is on Tri Junction of India, Nepal, and China in the state of Sikkim. The growers of which among the following commodities in India are awarded with Professor K. M. Chandi Memorial Award in India? The correct answer is rubber. The Rubber Award of India, located in Kotyam, established by Rubber Act has decided to honor the best rubber growers with Professor K. M. Chandi Memorial Award. The Peninsula Shield Force is active in which region of our planet? The Peninsula Shield Force is a military site of the Gulf Operation Council or GCC, which intends to deter and respond to military aggression against any of the GCC member countries, uh, which are Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab. Arab Emirates. So the correct answer is Middle East. Which among the following Muslim writers has written the famous Hindi work Padmavad? The correct answer is Malik Muhammad Jaisi. Padmavad is an epic poem written in 1540 by Sufi poet Malik Muhammad Jaisi. It is the oldest extant text among the important works in Avadi. With all the chaos surrounding this in the recent years, you all are probably aware it is a famous piece of Sufi literature from the period. It relates an allegorical fictional story about the Delhi Sultan Alauddin Khilji's desire for the titular Padmavati, the Queen of Chathor. 
which among the following travelers has recorded his experiences in Kitabi Rehla? The correct answer is Ibn Battuta. Ibn Battuta was an Arab traveler and adventurer from Morocco. His book is a primary source of the history of the reign of Muhammad bin Tughlaq. It throws light on the socio-political condition of his times. With which among the following branches of mathematics, Salva Sutras are related? The Salva Sutras are sutra texts belonging to the Srota ritual and containing geometry related to fire altar construction. The Salva Sutras are part of the larger corpus of texts called the Srota Sutras, considered to be the appendices to the Vedas. They are the only sources of knowledge of Indian mathematics from the Vedic period. The sutras contain discussion and non-axiomatic demonstrations of cases of the Pythagorean theorem and Pythagorean triples. They also oversee the construction of geometric shapes such as squares and rectangles. So the correct answer is geometry. Which among the following Mughal painters is credited for painting Siberian crane and the dodo for the first time? The correct answer is Ustad Mansud. Ustad Mansur as a painter started his career during the last few years of Akbar's reign as a minor painter. However, later he flourished during the time of Jahangir. He was a leading painter in Emperor Jahangir's court who was famous for depicting plants and animals. Most important paintings were of Siberian crane and dodo. The latter was an important source of reference for zoologists till date. The Siberian crane painted on paper is highly intricate, showing the wrinkles on the bare skin, the legs and the small feathers stuck to the claw. Which among the following had an objective of introducing the self-governing institutions to India? The correct answer is Montfort reforms. The Montfort reforms or montagu Clemsford reforms uh, were introduced by the British colonial government to introduce self-governing institutions gradually to India. The reforms were outlined in the Montagu Clemsford Report in 1918 and formed the basis of the Government of India Act 1919. Which among the following is the year of famous Queen Victoria's proclamation assuming the Government of India? On November 1st, 1858, Lord Canning sent forth the Royal Proclamation in the Grand Darbar at Allahabad where which Queen Victoria intimated that she had assumed the direct government of India. This proclamation also set forth the principles on the basis of which India was to be governed in future and the British policy towards people of British Indian territories and princes. So the correct answer is 1858. For reforms in which among the following, Hattock Commission was established. The correct answer is education. The committee was appointed to survey the growth of education in British India. In 1929, the committee submitted its report. The Hattock Committee had concentrated its attention more on primary and secondary education and less on university education. However, the committee gave some important suggestions for the university stage as well. Fraser Commission was established for reforms in which among the following in 1902. In 1902, a police commission was established for the police reforms under Sir Andrew Fraser and Lord Curzon and it got much success in police intelligence work. So the correct answer is police. Who among the following was the Viceroy of India at the time of partition of Bengal in 1905? The decision to effect the partition of Bengal was announced on 19 July 1905 by the Viceroy of India, Lord Cousin. The partition took place on 16 October 1905 and separated the largely Muslim eastern areas from the largely Hindu western areas. In order to appease Bengali sentiment, Bengal was reunited by Lord Hadinch in 1911 in response to the Swadeshi movement's riots in protest against the policy and the growing belief among Hindus that East Bengal would have its own code and policies. At which among the following places the Muslim League was founded in 1906? In December of 1906, All India Muslim League was set up under the leadership of Aga Khan, Nawab Salimullah Khan of Dhaka and Nawab Mohsinul Mulk at Dhaka. So the correct answer is Dhaka. 
the league supported the partition of bengal and opposed the swadeshi movement and demanded the special safeguards for its community and separate electorate of muslims bhandi was a chief secretary of which among the following indian kings bhandi was a leading noble of kanauj and on advice of political leaders of kanauj he offered the crown of kanauj to harsha after the death of grahavarmana bhandi was later described as one of the chief officers of harsha so the correct answer is harshavardhan in sangam age the term pillai was used for which among the following sangam period is the period of history of ancient tamil nadu and kerala spanning from 5th century bce to 3rd century ce it is named after the famous sangam academies of poets and scholars centered in the city of madurai the term pillai in modern day tamil means son however during the sangam age it was used to refer to students consider the following rivers indas brahmaputra ganga godavari which among the following is the correct decreasing order of the above rivers in terms of their length so indas is 3180 km long brahmaputra is 3848 km long ganga is 2525 km long and godavari is 1465 km long so in terms of decreasing order of length it should be 2 1 3 4 which means first it's brahmaputra which is the longest followed by indas then ganga and finally godavari India's first Nobel Prize for Physics was claimed in 1930 by the renowned physicist Sir C V Raman for his work in which among the following fields the correct answer is optics in 1930 C V Raman became the first person from Asia to be awarded a Nobel Prize in any field of science the date of discovery was February 28th which is now celebrated as National Science Day in India Which among the following was the main center of activity of Mother Teresa where she served the cause of dying destitute lepers and drug addicts The correct answer is Nirmal Hriday Kalighat the home of Nirmal Hriday or Pure Heart is a home for the sick destitute and the dying established by Saint Mother Teresa in Kalighat Kolkata India Chandrashekhar limit postulated by dr s chandrashekhar posts a limit of mass on which among the following the correct answer is white dwarf in 1931 the astrophysicist subramanian chandrashekhar theorized that a star would not form a stable white dwarf at the end of its life if its mass was greater than 1.44 times the solar mass this is known as the chandrashekhar limit above which the white dwarf will explode as what is called a type 1a supernova this work fetched him the nobel prize in 1983 how many prime ministers of india have been awarded bharat ratna till date so far seven prime ministers of india have been awarded the bharat ratna atal bihari vajpayee is the seventh prime minister to receive the award after jawaharlal nehru indira gandhi rajiv gandhi Morarji Desai, Lal Bahadur Shastri, and Gulzari Lal Nanda. Who among the following was the first chairman of UPSC? The first chairman of UPSC was Sir Ross Barker. First Public Service Commission was established on 1st October 1926 under the chairmanship of Sir Ross Barker. UPSC's constitutional body, which conducts the prestigious civil services examination, to select the IAS IFS and IPS officers among others it has been established under article 315 of the constitution and consists of a chairman and 10 members appointed and removed by the president the chairman and members of the commission hold office for a term of 6 years or until they attain the age of 65 years whichever is earlier atal bihari vajpayee was sworn in as india's prime minister for how many times The correct answer is three times. His three terms were 6th May 1996 to 1st June 1996, 19th March 1998 to 13th October 1999, and 13th October 1999 to 22nd May 2004.
Before its name was shortened by the British into United Provinces in 1935, by which among the following names modern Uttar Pradesh was known? The correct answer is the United Provinces of Agra and Aud, which was a province of India under the British Raj, which existed from 1902 to 1947. The official name was shortened by the Government of India Act 1935 to United Province or UP, by which the province has been commonly known and by which name it was also a province of independent India until 1950. It corresponds to approximately the present-day Indian states of Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand. In which among the following years, a new liberalized industrial policy in India was announced for the first time? The correct answer is 1991. The economic liberalization in India refers to the changes and reforms initiated in 1991 of the country's economic policies with the goal of making the economy more market and service oriented and expanding the role of private and foreign investment. In which among the following years the MRTP Act became effective? On the basis of recommendation of the Dutt Committee, MRTP Act was enacted in 1969 to ensure that the concentration of economic power in hands of few rich, the Act was there to prohibit monopolistic and restrictive trade practices. The Monopolies and Restricted Trade Practices Act or MRTP was passed by Parliament of India on 18 December 1969 and got President's assent on December 27, 1969 but it only came into force on June 1, 1970. In the industrial policy of 1991, how many industries were reserved only for public sector? On July 24, 1991, Government of India announced its new industrial policy with an aim to correct the distortion and weakness of the industrial structure of the country that had developed in four decades raising industrial efficiency to international level and accelerating industrial growth. The number of industries resolved for public sector was reduced from 17 as per the 1956 policy to only 8 industries that is arms and ammunition, atomic energy, coal, mineral oil, mining of iron ore, manganese ore, gold, silver, mining of copper, lead, zinc, atomic minerals and railways. Currently, only two categories from the above are still reserved, which are atomic energy and railways. In an oligopolistic or monopolistically competitive market, firms do not raise their prices because even a small price increase will lose many customers. Which among the following is the most suitable term for this concept? So the correct answer is kinked demand. King demand is an economic theory regarding oligopoly and monopolistic competition. It was an initial attempt to explain sticky prices, that is prices that do not change. Which among the following was not a reason behind India's poverty as pointed out by Dadabhai Nauruji in his famous work Poverty and Unbritish Rule in India? The correct answer is India's population growth. In his work, he did not accept that the Indian poverty was due to overpopulation or the interplay of some economic laws as was publicized by the British. Which among the following was the first deep water block in India to start production? In April 2009, Reliance Industries Limited had started pumping natural gas from its D6 block in the Krishna Godavari Basin and D6 was the first deep water block in India to start production. So the correct answer is Krishna Godavari D6. Which among the following represents a decrease in the owner's equity? The correct answer is redemption of debentures. So debenture is one of the capital market instruments which is used to raise medium or long term funds from public. It is essentially a debt instrument that acknowledges a loan to the company and is executed under common seal of the company. So when debentures are to be redeemed at their face value, they are said to be redeemable at par, they are redeemable at premium or discount as well. Which among the following will be a debit entry in India's balance of payments? The correct answer is income of Indian investments abroad. 
The balance of international payments or balance of payments refers to the systematic and summary record of a country's economic and financial transactions with the rest of the world over a period of time. Yashaswani Rural Healthcare Scheme is being implemented in which among the following states of India. This is a cooperative farmers healthcare scheme which offers health insurance coverage to tenant farmers or peasants who are members of cooperative societies in Karnataka. Which among the following states of India is running the Dhanantari Yojana in the healthcare sector? The correct answer is Madhya Pradesh. Which of the following courts can you approach to file a writ petition to protect your fundamental rights? One Supreme Court, two High Courts, three District Courts, four Session Courts. Select the correct option from courts given. So anything that is issued under authority is a writ. Orders, warrants, directions, etc. issued under authority are examples of writs. There are five major types of writs. Habeas corpus, mandamus, prohibition, co-warranto and certiorari. Each of them has different meaning and different implications. In India, both Supreme Court and High Court have been empowered with writ jurisdiction. So our correct answer becomes 1 and 2 which is option B. Further, Parliament by law can extend power to issue writs to any other courts including local courts for local limits of jurisdiction of such courts. All revenues received by the Government of India by taxes like income tax, central excise, customs and other receipts are kept in which among the following? The correct answer is Consolidated Fund of India. Consolidated Fund of India is the most important of all government accounts. Revenues received by the government and expenses made by it, excluding the exceptional items, are part of it. This fund was constituted under Article 266.1 of the Constitution of India. Approval of which among the following authorities alone would be sufficient to draw funds from Consolidated Fund of India. So Consolidated Fund is the chief account of Indian government. This fund has the income from tax and non-tax revenues. Money for the expenditure of government is withdrawn from this fund and withdrawing money from this fund requests the approval of the parliament. Contingency fund has a fixed deposit of rupees 500 crore. Transactions relate to debt other than those included in the Consolidated Fund of India are kept in which among the following. So anything which is not included in the Consolidated Fund of India, where is it kept? The correct answer is public account. The public account is constituted under Article 266.2 of the Constitution. All other public monies which are not covered under Consolidated Fund of India received by or on behalf of the Government of India are credited to the public account of India. Till now, how many judges of Supreme Court of India have been removed from office through impeachment? None of our judges have ever been removed by impeachment. Which among the following language is not there in the 8th Schedule of Constitution of India? So the languages that are there in the 8th Schedule are Assamese, Bengali, Bodo, Dogri, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Kashmiri, Konkani, Maithili, Malayalam, Manipuri, Marathi, Nepali, Oriya, Punjabi, Sanskrit, Santhali, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu and Urdu. So the one that is missing here is Rajasthani. So the correct answer is Rajasthani. How many members can be nominated by the President to Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha respectively? The maximum strength of Lok Sabha is 552 members of which 530 are elected from states, 20 are elected from union territories and 2 are nominated by the president from Anglo-Indian community if the president thinks that the community has not been adequately represented in the house. Representation of the Anglo-Indian community is provided by the constitution as per article 331 and not by article 81. Article 331 states Notwithstanding anything in Article 81, the President may, if he is of the opinion that the Anglo-Indian community is not adequately represented in the House of People, 
nominate not more than two members of the community to the house of the people. So the correct answer is 12 and 2. A bill initiated by which among the following is a government bill? If a bill is introduced in the house by a minister, it is a government bill or public bill. If the bill is introduced by any other member than a minister, it is called a private member bill. A private member bill can be introduced by both ruling party and opposition MPs. Each House of Parliament collectively and the members individually enjoy certain powers and privileges without which they cannot discharge their functions efficiently and effectively. These privileges have been provided by and the correct answer is the Constitution. The Constitution provides every required uh, privilege that a member of either House needs to perform their duties. In which year Rajya Sabha was established? Rajya Sabha was established in the year 1952. 13th May 1952 is remembered with pride and joy as the newly constituted Council of States sat together for the first time. This second chamber of Parliament of India was later named as the Rajya Sabha on 23rd August 1954. ASHA is a Government of India scheme related to which among the following flagship programs? Asha, or Accredited Social Health Activist, is a trained female community health activist as a key component of the National Rural Health Mission under National Health Mission. She is selected from the village itself and works as a link between community and public health system. In which year India launched its Look East policy? India's Look East policy was for the first time pursued by Narasimha Rao government in 1992. Under this policy, India focused its attention towards Southeast Asia, which was long neglected during the Cold War period. This policy was further cemented by successive Prime Ministers and now has been converted into Act East policy by the current government. Which among the following is not a function of commercial bank in India? Function of commercial banks in India include acceptance deposits, demand deposits, fixed deposits or time deposits, saving bank deposits, etc. However, National Savings Certificate is an Indian government savings bond primarily used for small savings and income tax saving investments in India which are handled by post offices. Which among the following does not partner in Bharat Nirman? Bharat Nirman is a time-bound plan for rural infrastructure by the government of India in partnership with state governments and Panchayat Raj institutions. It was launched in 2005. It has six components, water, roads, electricity, housing, irrigation and telephone connectivity. Private entrepreneurs do not take part in it. Department of Disinvestment comes under which among the following ministries? The Department of Disinvestment has been renamed as Department of Investment and Public Asset Management or DPAM, a decision aimed at proper management of centers' investments in equity, including its disinvestment in central public sector undertakings. It is managed by the Ministry of Finance. Which among the following are the two states of India where thorium is found in good quantities? The correct answer is Kerala and Rajasthan. India has one of the largest supplies of thorium in the world with comparatively poor quantities of uranium. India has projected meeting as much as 30% of its electrical demands through thorium by 2050. Consider the following 1. Individual money lenders, 2. Cooperative banks, 3. Primary agri credit societies. Which among the following are parts of Indian money market? The correct answer is all of them. Money markets are those markets where borrowing and lending of short term funds as short as maturity of one day to one year takes place. Due to short maturity, the instruments of money market are liquid and can be converted to cash easily, thus are able to address the needs of short term surplus fund of the lenders and short term borrowing requirements of the borrowers. The interest rates get determined in the money markets and these markets are divided into unorganized sector and organized sector. The unorganized market is old indigenous market which includes indigenous bankers, money lenders, etc. Organized markets include government, central and state, discount and finance house of India, mutual funds, corporate, commercial and cooperative banks, public sector undertakings, insurance companies and financial institutions and non-banking financial companies. Organized money market is regulated by RBI as well as SEBI.
which among the following is used by Reserve Bank of India for sterilization of capital inflow? The correct answer is open market operations. Open market operations refer to the purchase and sale of government securities or GSEX by RBI from or to market. The objective of open market operations is to adjust the rupee liquidity conditions in the economy on a durable basis. When RBI sells government security in the market, the banks purchase them. When the banks purchase government securities, they have a reduced ability to lend to the industrial houses or other commercial sectors. This reduced surplus cash contracts the rupee liquidity and consequently credit creation credit supply. When RBI purchases the securities, the commercial banks find them with more surplus cash and this would create more credit in the system. Thus, in the case of excess liquidity, RBI resorts to sale of GSEX to suck out rupee from the system. Similarly, when there is a liquidity crunch in the economy, RBI buys securities from the market, thereby releasing liquidity. Asset Reconstruction Company of India or ARCIL has been launched to deal with primarily non-performing assets. A non-performing asset or NPA refers to a classification for loans or advances that are in default or are in arrears on scheduled payments of principal of interest. In most cases, debt is classified as non-performing when low payments have not been made for a period of 90 days. While 90 days of non-payment is the standard, the amount of elapsed time may be shorter or longer depending on the terms and conditions of each loan. Which among the following is not a must condition for a scheduled commercial bank in India? The scheduled commercial banks are those banks which are included in the second schedule of RBI Act 1934 and which carry out the normal business of banking such as accepting deposits, giving out loans and other banking services. The major difference between scheduled commercial banks and scheduled cooperative banks is their holding pattern. Since cooperative are registered under the Cooperative Societies Act as cooperative credit institutions. Minimum paid up capital to set up scheduled commercial bank is rupees 5 lakh. So the option 2 that its paid up capital should at least be rupees 1 crore is not true. Anatolia is a part of which among the following continents? The correct answer is Asia. Anatolia or Asia Minor constitutes the central part of Turkey. It is bounded by the Taurus Mountains in the south, the Black Sea in the north and the Aegean Sea in the west, while the eastern boundary is formed by the Mount Arat and Armenian North. Anatolia is a plateau having undulating topography and the national capital of Turkey or Ankara is located in its central part. Ozone layer is found in which of the following? The correct answer is stratosphere. The ozone layer is a region of Earth's stratosphere that absorbs most of the sun's ultraviolet radiation that may cause skin cancer. It contains high concentration of ozone in relation to other parts of the atmosphere. Stratospheric ozone is not harmful, but its presence on land is harmful. How many members of Rajya Sabha are nominated by the President of India? The correct answer is 12. Rajya Sabha is the upper house of the parliament, which represents the states and union territories. Its membership is fixed to maximum 250 members, of which 238 are elected by the representative of states and union territories, while 12 members are nominated by president on account of their excellence in literature, science, art or social service. The law created by a legislature is called legislation or statutory law, whether a given bill will be proposed and is generally a matter of legislative priorities of the government and once the bill is passed, it becomes a statutory or legislative law. When was Guru Nanak born? Guru Nanak was born on 28th October 1469. So the correct answer is option A. And this day is still celebrated as Prakash Devas. How many types of emergencies are there in the constitution of India? There are three types of emergencies defined in the Constitution of India. These are national emergency, state emergency and financial emergency. They are mentioned in the part 18 of the Indian Constitution which deals with emergency provisions. Kohinu diamond was found probably from which among the following mines? The correct answer is Golconda. The Golconda diamonds are Indian diamonds mined in a specific geographic area 
within the historic Golconda Sultanate, which is in present-day Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Diamond from these mines were transported to the city of Hyderabad to be cut, polished, evaluated and sold well within the 19th century. Who among the following was the first to adapt a new religion propounded by Akbar called Dine Elahi? Dine Elahi was an eclectic doctrine that contained elements from very diverse fields. It overthrew almost every ceremonial rule, whether Islam or any other, but took the good ideas from the Brahmins as well as from the missionaries and adopted sun as a symbol of the worship of the creator. He started a new Ilahi era. The new cult was immediately professed by a small band of the courtiers of Akbar, including Faizi, Abul Fazal, Birbal and a few others. The first one to embrace it was Birbal. Consider the following. 1. Conservation of soil, water and biodiversity. 2. Improve rural roads and bridges. 3. Gap the rural-urban divide. Which among the following are the objectives or functions of Rural Infrastructure Debt Fund? All of these are functions of this particular fund. In economy, the Gini coefficient deals with which among the following? Gini coefficient represents the income distribution of a country's residents, so it deals with distribution of wealth. It was developed by the Italian statistician and sociologist Corrado Gini. It measures the inequality. The coefficient ranges from 0 to 1, with 0 representing perfect equality and 1 showing perfect inequality. The higher is the Gini coefficient, more is the gap between rich and poor in the country. If the value of Gini coefficient is 1, it implies that all wealth of the country belongs to one person and everybody else is poor. The zero value of the Gini coefficient implies that all people have exactly equal wealth. Practically, the Gini coefficient value falls between 0 and 1 for all countries. Which among the following ruler is known for Junagar rock inscription? The correct answer is Rudradaman 1. The Junagar rock inscription of Rudradaman is considered as an early example of chaste Sanskrit written in mid-2nd century AD. It mentions that one of Chandragupta Maurya's governors, Pushyagupta, was responsible for building a dam on Sudarshana Lake near Girnar in Kathiawar. From another inscription of Skandagupta, we came to know that this very dam was repaired during his reign almost 800 years after it was built. Which among the following countries have Vikram Sambhat as official calendar? The correct answer is only Nepal. Vikram Sambhat, also called the Bikrami calendar or sometimes just Hindu calendar, is the historical Hindu calendar of India and Nepal. It uses lunar months and solar sidereal years. It is the official calendar of Nepal. After the victory on which among the following, the Vikrama Sambhat was founded by the Tuar Rajput Emperor Vikramaditya of Ujjain. The correct answer is Shakas. In the colonial era, it was believed to be based on the commemoration of King Vikramaditya expelling the Shakas from Ujjain. However, later epigraphical evidence and scholarship suggests that this theory has no historical basis and very likely was an error. Starting in the 9th century and thereafter, epigraphical artwork uses Vikrama Sambhat, suggesting that sometime around the 9th century, the Hindu calendar era that was already in use became popular as Vikram Sambhat, while Buddhist and the Jain epigraphy continued to use an era based on the Buddha or the Mahavira. Ghazi Malik was the founder and first ruler of which among the following dynasties? Ghazi Malik or Gyasuddin Tughlaq was the founder of Tughlaq dynasty in India. He reigned over the Sultanate of Delhi between 1320 to 1325 AD. He founded the city of Tughlaqabad. His reign was cut short after five years when he died under mysterious circumstances in 1325. He was succeeded by Muhammad bin Tughlaq. In which of the following years Akbar had centralized the control and functioning of various mints? The correct answer is 1570. Akbar was the central of all power in his administration, civil, judicial, military and religious. He was the supreme commander of the army. He established a centralized administration, 
All appointments, promotions or dismissals depended on his decisions and orders. Usually, he ruled according to Shariat or Islamic law. The construction of the Delhi Iron Pillar, now located at the Quwwat islam Mosque in New Delhi, was constructed in which period? As per Natya Darpan or Vishak Data, the Iron Pillar had been put up by Chandragupta II himself after defeating Vailakas. He designated that pillar as a memory of the victory. The correct answer therefore is Gupta's. The pillar is made of 98% wrought iron and has stood more than 1600 years without rusting or decomposing. The name of which among the following king of Hellenistic Seleucid kingdom has been inscribed on the edicts of Ashoka? The correct answer is Antiochus II Theos. Ashoka's Hellenistic contemporaries are Antiochus II Theos of Syria, Ptolemy II Philadelphus of Egypt, Majors of Sin, Antigonus Gonatas of Macedonia, and Alexander of Epirus. Tholi hills, which have major edicts of Ashoka, engraved on a mass rock by the side of a road leading to the summit of the hills, are located in which among the following states of India? The Dholgiri Hills are famous for the Shanti Stup or peace monument first constructed by the great Emperor Ashok as a mark of Buddhist message for worldwide peace. It's in Orissa. In which among the following battles artillery was used for the first time? The answer is the first battle of Panipat. The first battle of Panipat was fought on April 21st, 1526 between the invading forces of Babur and the Lodi Kingdom. It took place in North India and marked the beginning of Mughal Empire and the end of the Delhi Sultanate. This was one of the earliest battles involving gunpowder, firearms and filled artillery in the Indian subcontinent which were introduced by the Mughals in this battle. Indas Valley site at Surkotada is located in which among the following states? The correct answer is Gujarat. It is located 160 km northeast of Bhuj in the district of Kutch in Gujarat. In the Indus Valley civilization, the remains of horse bones have been found at this site. The Indian Institute of Horticulture Research is located at which among the following places? The Indian Institute of Horticulture Research is an autonomous organization acting as a nodal agency for basic strategic, anticipatory and applied research on various aspects of horticulture such as fruits, vegetable, ornamental, medicinal and aromatic plants and mushrooms in India. It's located in Bangalore or Bengaluru, Karnataka. At which among the following places, the Central Institute for Subtropical Horticulture is located. The Central Institute of Subtropical Horticulture was started as Central Mango Research Station on 4th September 1972 under the aegis of the Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, Bangalore. Renamed as Central Institute for Subtropical Horticulture on June 14, 1995, it is serving the nation on different aspects of research on mandated subtropical fruits. It has two experimental farms, one at Raman Khera, approximately 25 kilometers away from the city and the other at Rai Bareli Road in the city of Lucknow. At which among the following places National Research Centre for Citrus is located? The National Research Centre for Citrus is an institute for research in citrus fruits and horticulture in India. It is located at Nagpur in the state of Maharashtra which has been famous for mandarin oranges. National Research Centre for Grapes is located at which among the following places? The National Research Centre for Grapes under Indian Council of Agricultural Research, New Delhi was established on 18 January 1997 at Manjari in Pune. It has the following mandate. Strategic and applied research on safe grape production and productivity, transfer of technology and capacity building of stakeholders for enhanced and sustained production of grapes, national referral laboratory for food safety and pesticide residue in fruits. National Research Centre for Banana is located at 
The National Research Center for Banana was established on 21st August 1993 at Tiruchirappalli or Trichy, Tamil Nadu by ICAR New Delhi with an aim to increase the production and productivity of banana and plantains through mission mode basic and strategic research approaches. National Research Center for Lychee is located at which among the following places? The National Research Center on Lychee was established on 6 June 2001 at the fag end of 9th plan by Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India under the aegis of Indian Council of Agricultural Research to act as nodal institution for research and development on Lychee in India in a mission mode approach. It is located in Muzaffarpur, Bihar. All India Coordinated Research Project on Tropical Fruit is located at which among the following places? All India Coordinated Research Project on Tropical Fruit is a landmark in the history of agricultural research and was extended to fruit crops by the ICAR during the fourth five-year plan between 1969 and 1974 on July 31, 1971. It's in Bangalore. All India Coordinated Research Project on Subtropical Fruits is located at which among the following places? All India Coordinated Research Project on Subtropical Fruits, which includes mango, guava, lychee and other ad hoc fruit schemes, is a part of Central Institute for Subtropical Horticulture, Lucknow. Carnal bond effects which among the following cereal crops? Carnal bond is a fungal disease of wheat durum wheat and triticale, so it affects wheat. As per Vedic rituals, which among the following is the divine messenger who receives the prayers and conveys them to heavenly spheres? The correct answer is Agni. In Vedic literature, Agni is a major and often invoked god along with Indra and Soma. Agni is considered the mouth of the gods and goddesses and the medium that conveys offerings to them in a yoga. This triple present connects him as the messenger between gods and human beings in the Vedic thoughts. As per the Hindu philosophy, what is the number of articles under the restraints and practices or yamas and niyamas? The yamas and niyamas are yoga's ethical guideline laid out in the first two limbs of Patanjali's Eightfold Path. Simply put, the yamas are things not to do or restraints while the niyamas are things to do or observances. Together, they form a moral code of conduct. The correct answer is 20. Who among the following was the first ruler of Sain dynasty? The Sain empire was a Hindu dynasty during the late classical period on the Indian subcontinent that ruled from Bengal through the 11th and 12th centuries. The empire at its peak covered much of northeastern region of the Indian subcontinent. The rulers of the Sain dynasty traced their origin to the South Indian region of Karnataka. Their first ruler was Samantha Sain. Who among the following was the first famous powerful king of Sain dynasty? The Sain dynasty's founder was Samantha Sain. He is the most renowned ruler of this dynasty. After him came Hemantha Sain, who usurped power and styled himself king in 1095 AD. Vikrampur and Vijayapuri were two capitals of which among the following kings of the Sain dynasty. The correct answer is Vijay Sain. Vijay Sain was the son of Hemantha Sain and succeeded him as a Sain dynasty ruler of Bengal, region of the Indian subcontinent. He conquered Bengal fighting the kings of Gauda, Kamrupa and Kalinga. He had a capital in Vijayapuri and Vikrampur. Who among the following was the founder of Gadwala dynasty? The correct answer is Chandradev. The Gadwala dynasty or Gaharwar was a Hindu and Buddhist Indian dynasty that ruled the kingdom of Kanauj for approximately a hundred years beginning in the late 11th century. The founder of Kanauj, Gadwala dynasty, was Chandradev who took control of Kanauj at the end of 11th century approximately around 1090 AD. During the rule of his successor Govinda Chandra from 1114 to 1154 AD, the state of Gadwala reached the pinnacle of its power. His minister Lakshmi Dhara was the author of several legal works including Kalpadrun. In which among the following battles, Jay Chandra was defeated and killed by Muhammad Ghori? The correct answer is Battle of Chandavar. 
the battle of chandwar was fought between mohammad ghori and jaychand of kanauj of the gadwala dynasty it took place at chandwar on the yamuna river close to agra jaychand was defeated giving mohammad control of much of northern india the battle was fought on the banks of river yamuna very close to agra shri harsha was a court poet of which among the following gadwala kings Shri Harsha was a 12th century Sanskrit poet from India. His father Shri Hira was a poet in the court of Gadwala king Vijayachandra. Shri Harsha composed the poem Naisadha Charitra in 1174 during the reign of Vijayachandra's son Jayachandra. So the correct answer is Jayachandra. According to Raj Shekhar's Prabandha Kosh Upon the wide acceptance of Naisadha Charita, Sri Harsha was dignified with the title of Narabharati. Which among the following kings constructed the Ocean Temple of Rajasthan? Ocean is an ancient town located in the Jodhpur district of Rajasthan state in western India. It is an oasis in the Thar desert and has been known as Khajuraho of Rajasthan for its temples. Ocean is famous as home to cluster of ruined Brahmanical and Jain temples dating from 8th to 11th century. The city was a major religious center of the kingdom of Marwa during the Gurdjieff. Jar Pratihara dynasty. So the correct answer is Pratihara. Raj Shekhar, the eminent Sanskrit poet, dramatist, and critic, who is best known for his work Kavya Mimamsa, was a court poet of which among the following kings of Gurjara Pratiharas. The correct answer is Mahendrapal one. He was an eminent Sanskrit poet, dramatist, and critic, and the court poet of Mahendrapal one of Gurjara Pratiharas. Where on the earth is the Sirohi point located? The correct answer is Antarctica. The Sirohi point is the first point where an Indian set foot on Antarctica as a part of a research team of United States Antarctic Research Program or USARP. He had researched in biology. Uh, by he, I mean Giriraj Singh Sirohi, who was the first person to set foot on that region. He had researched in biology in at McMurdo Station, 1960-61, for 100 days at sub-zero temperatures, and the point was named after him by the U.S. government later. Which of the following rivers of India originate in Tibet? One, Satlej River; two, Indus River; three, Kagra River. Select the correct option from the codes given below. So the correct answer is all three. All of these three rivers originate in Tibet. Ghaghra is a transboundary perennial river originating on the Tibetan Plateau near Lake Mansarovar. It cuts through the Himalayas in Nepal and joins the Sarda River at Brahma Ghat in India. Indus River originating in the Tibetan Plateau of Western China in the vicinity of Lake Mansarovar in Tibet, autonomous region. The river runs a course through the Ladakh district of Jammu and Kashmir and then enters Pakistan via northern areas of Gilgit Baltistan flowing through the north in a southerly direction along the entire length of Pakistan to merge into the Arabian Sea near the port city of Karachi in Sindh Satlej river the longest of five rivers that flow through the historic crossroad region of Punjab in northern India and Pakistan originates near Lake Rakshastal in Tibet near Mount Kailash and it flows generally west and southwest entering India through the Shipki Lapas in Himachal Pradesh Which among the following is formed by the process of lithification Lithification gives rise to sedimentary rocks Out of these, only feldspar is a sedimentary rock. Hence, it's the correct answer. Which among the following natural satellites of our solar system is smaller than the moon? The correct answer is Europa. Europa is the smallest of the four Galilean moons orbiting Jupiter and the sixth closest to the planet. It is also the sixth largest moon in the solar system. Europa was discovered in 1610 by Galileo Galilei and was named after Europa, the mythological mother of King Minos of Crete and the lover of Zeus. Which among the following soil is predominantly found in Ra region of West Bengal? 
RAR is the region that intervenes between the Bajjabhumi and the Ganges Delta. Parts of the districts Murshidabad, Birbhum, Bakura, Purva Baddhaman, Pashchim Baddhaman, Purva Medinipur, Pashchim Medinipur constitute this region. The region is about 50 to 100 meters and this area is covered in predominantly red soil. Consider the following statements. 1. Maharashtra is the sole producer of corundum in India. 2. Ruby and platinum group of metals are produced only in Orissa. Which among the above statements are correct? Both 1 and 2 are correct. Maharashtra is in fact the sole producer of corundum and is the second largest producer of manganese ore after Orissa. The principal mineral bearing belts in Maharashtra are Vidharbha area in the east and Konkan area in the west. Orissa hosts country's sole resources of ruby and platinum group of metals. The Cabo Razi, which is famous for Cabo Razi National Park, is a border tripoint between which among the following countries? Cabo Razi is believed to be Myanmar's highest mountain with its height of 5,881 meters and the probable highest mountains in Southeast Asia. It is located in the northern Myanmar state of Kachin in an outlying sub-range of the greater Himalayan mountain system near the border tripoint with India and China. So the correct answer is India, China, Myanmar. Consider the following. 1. Kodzai, 2. Knees, 3. Schists. Which among the above are called metamorphic rocks? The correct answer is all three. Quartzite is a hard metamorphic rock which was originally sandstone. Sandstone is converted into quartzite through heating and pressure usually related to tectonic compression within orogenic belts. Nice is a common and widely distributed type of rock formed by high-grade regional metamorphic processes from pre-existing formations that were originally either igneous or sedimentary rocks. The schist form a group of medium grade metamorphic rocks chiefly notable for the preponderance of lamellar minerals such as micas, chloride, talc, hornblende, graphite and others. The channel that separates Lakshadweep Island and the Maliku Atoll is known as which among the following? The correct answer is 9 degree channel. 9 degree channel separates Lakshadweep Islands and Maliku Atoll 10 degree channel separates Andaman Islands from Nicobar Islands. Which among the following is a treeless biome? The correct answer is Tundra. Tundra is characterized by treeless low vegetation which is less than 1 meter in height with short perennials and frozen water. Typical plants include sedges, lichens, mosses, grasses and dwarf woody plants. Typical animals include snowy owls, muskos, reindeer, polar bears and migrant birds. Consider the following 1. Central government 2. State government Which among the above can levy taxes on agricultural revenues? By default, agricultural income is exempted from taxation and not included under total income. The central government can't impose or levy tax on agricultural income. The exemption clause is mentioned under Section 10.1 of the Income Tax Act of 1961. However, the state government can charge agricultural tax. As of the latest amendment, income of agriculture, if within Rs 50,000 in a financial year, will not be accounted for tax purposes. Anything above that will be taxable as per the applicable rates. So the correct answer is only two state governments. If president and vice president both are unavailable, who among the following would discharge the functions? The correct answer is Chief Justice of India. The President Discharge of Functions Act 1969 of India provides that the Chief Justice of India shall act as the President of India in the event of the offices of both the President and the Vice President being vacant. When President Zakir Hussain died in office, the Vice President V.V. V. Giri acted as the President. Later, Mr. Giri resigned as the Vice President and the CJI Justice Muhammad Hidayatullah then became the acting president of India.
As per the convention, the senior most judge of the Supreme Court then became the acting CJI. When the newly elected president took office a month later, Justice Hidayatullah reverted as the Chief Justice of India. What can be the maximum number of members of the Lok Sabha? Lok Sabha is the lower house of the parliament which represents people. Article 81 deals with the composition of the Lok Sabha and the maximum strength of the Lok Sabha is 552 members. So option C is the correct answer. Among this, 530 are elected from states, 20 are elected from union territories and 2 are nominated by the president from the Anglo-Indian community if the president thinks that the community is not adequately represented in the house. Which among the following was the strength of the Lok Sabha after India's first general election? The Indian general election of 1951-52 was held from 25th October 1951 to 21st February 1952 and was the first election of the Lok Sabha since India became independent in August 1947. A total of 53 parties and 533 independents contested for the 489 seats in the Lok Sabha. So the correct answer is 489. In India, the parliament is made up of 1 Lok Sabha, 2 Rajya Sabha, 3 President, 4 Vice President and 5 Lok Sabha Speaker. The correct answer is 1, 2 and 3 that is Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and the President. So India has a bicameral parliament made up of President, Rajya Sabha or Upper House or Council of States and Lok Sabha or Lower House or House of the People. While Rajya Sabha represents states and union territories, Lok Sabha represents people of India. For how many times a person can become the President of India? The correct answer is it has no limits. As per Article 57, the eligibility for re-election for the President is a person who holds or who has held office as President and is subject to all other provisions of the Constitution he is eligible for re-election to the office. If the government of a state fails to enforce the directive principles of the state policy, a citizen can move to which among the following courts to file a writ petition to get them enforced. So directive principles of the state policy are non-justiciable in nature, which means courts cannot exercise their judicial authority to enforce them. So the correct answer is no court. Which among the following articles help the madarsas in India to remain out of purview of the right to education? The correct answer is Article 30, which is called the Charter of Education Rights. Madasas are administrated by the Article 30, and Article 30 mandates that all minorities, whether based on religion or language, shall have the right to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice. Article 30 provides an absolute right to linguistic and religious institutions and at the same time can also claim for grant and aid without any discrimination. New All India services can be initiated in India only if the following makes a recommendation. As per the Constitution of India, a new All India service can be instituted with only the initiative of the Rajya Sabha according to Article 312 of the Constitution. So the correct answer is Rajya Sabha. Which among the following industrial policies started in the process of full-scale liberalization and intensified the process of integration of India with the global economy? On July 24, 1991, Government of India announced its new industrial policy with an aim to correct the distortion and weakness of the industrial structure of the country that had developed in four decades, raise industrial efficiency to the international level and accelerate industrial growth. This is the new industrial policy of 1991. In which year Bretton Woods Agreement was signed? The Bretton Woods Agreement is the landmark system for monetary and exchange rate management established in 1944. It was developed at the United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference held at Bretton Woods, New Hampshire from July 1st to July 22nd of 1944. In which year the International Finance Corporation or IFC was established? 
It was established in 1956. It is the largest multilateral source of loan and equity financing for private sector projects in the developing world. It promotes sustainable private sector development primarily by financing private sector projects and companies located in the developing world, helping private companies in the developing world mobilize financing in international financial markets, providing advice and technical assistance to businesses and governments. The IPRD provides loans to governments and public enterprises, always with the government or sovereign guarantee of repayment subject to general conditions. In which year the soft loan window of IBRD was established? A soft loan is a loan with a below market rate of interest. This is also known as soft financing. Sometimes soft loans provide other concessions to borrowers such as long repayment periods or interest holidays. Soft loans are usually provided by governments to projects they think that are worldwide. So, soft loan window of IBRT was established in 1960. In which five-year plan the Panchayati Raj system was introduced in India for the first time? The institution of Panchayati Raj was inaugurated by Jawaharlal Nehru on October 2nd of 1959 in Nagore district of Rajasthan. Nine days later, Andhra Pradesh became the second state to launch Panchayati Raj at Shadnagar near Hyderabad. The chairman of the Committee on Public Accounts is nominated by which among the following? The correct answer is Lok Sabha Speaker. Public Accounts Committee or PAC is one of the standing parliamentary committees which was first established in 1921 under the Government of India Act 1919 provisions. The committee examines the manners and results of spending the public fund. The Public Accounts Committee has 22 members of which 15 are from Lok Sabha while seven are from Rajya Sabha. Which among the following country had proposed the nuclear non-proliferation treaty? The correct answer is Ireland. The Treaty on Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, which is also commonly known as NPT, is an international treaty whose objective is to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and weapons technology, to promote cooperation and the peaceful use of nuclear energy, and to further the goal of achieving nuclear disarmament and general and complete disarmament. Between 1965 and 1968, the treaty was negotiated by the 18 Nation Committee on Disarmament, a United Nations sponsored organization based in Geneva, Switzerland. The Dag Hammarskjöld Library is part of which international body headquarters? The Dag Hammarskjöld Library is part of the United Nations headquarters and is connected to the Secretariat and Conference buildings through ground level and underground corridors. It is named after Dag Hammarskjöld, the second Secretary General of the United Nations. The library has two specialized major areas. Which among the following newspapers? Established by Mahatma Gandhi was an important tool for the political movement led by Gandhi and the Natal Indian Congress to fight racial discrimination and win civil rights for the Indian immigrants community in South Africa. The correct answer is Indian opinion. It was a newspaper established by Gandhiji. The publication was an important tool for the political movement led by Gandhi and the Indian National Congress to fight racial discrimination and win civil rights for the Indian immigrant community in South Africa and it existed between 1903 and 1915. Which among the following has the highest content of vitamin E of any food that has not undergone prior preparation of vitamin fortification? The correct answer is wheat germ oil. Wheat germ oil is a great source of vitamin E and is said to be a powerful antioxidant. Who among the following poets used to write the Urdu ghazals with the pen name Asad? The correct answer is Mirza Ghalib. His original name was Mirza Asadullah Beg Khan, but most of us know that Ghalib was his pen name. Before Ghalib, he wrote with the pen name Asad, which means a lion. He was honored with the title of Dabir ul Mulk by Bahadur Shah Zafar II. When another title, Mirza Nosha, was given to him, he came to be known as Mirza Ghalib. Which among the following is correct about B group vitamins? B vitamins are a class of water-soluble vitamins that play important roles in cell metabolism. 
Though these vitamins share similar names, they are chemically distinct compounds that often coexist in the same foods. In general, dietary supplements containing all eight are referred to as vitamin B complex. So among these options, the correct answer is most of them are water soluble. A cotton wick dipped in pure honey when ignited with a matte stick will burn consistently. A cotton wick dipped in pure honey burns when ignited with a matte stick. If adulterated presence of water will not allow the honey to burn, it does produce a cracking sound. Clovis, which part of the plant? Cloves are aromatic flower birds of a tree in the family Myrtaceae Cisgium aromaticum. They are native to the Maluku Islands or Moluccas in Indonesia and are commonly used as a spice. Which among the following is not taken into account while choosing the orbit of a satellite? The correct answer is mass of the satellite. It has no effect on planning where to put the satellite. The advantage of having a satellite in one orbit rather than another orbit usually depends on its inclination. That is the angle at which a satellite's orbit is tilted in relation to the Earth's equator. When engineers are designing a satellite and designing its functions, they must choose an orbit that is appropriate to its function. Lightest and the most abundant chemical element constituting roughly 75% of the universe's elemental mass is hydrogen. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe accounting for about 75% of its normal matter that was created in the Big Bang. Helium is an element usually in the form of a gas that consists of a nucleus of two protons and two neutrons. So it is helium is the element next to hydrogen in the periodic table and it is also abundant. However, hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. How many pairs of ribs are there in a human body? There are 24 ribs or 12 pairs out of which only 14 or 7 pairs are true ribs. You can see in the diagram there are 24 ribs, 1 to 7, the pairs 1 to 7 are labeled as true pair while the rest are labeled as false ribs or floating ribs. So the correct answer is 12 pairs. Who started the process of decentralization of finances in India? The correct answer is Lord Mayo. Lord Mayo or Lord Nas served as the fourth Viceroy of India from 12 January 1869 to 8 February 1872. He started the process of decentralization of finance. In foreign affairs, he followed the policy of non-intervention. He opened up the Mayo College in Ajmer for educating children of the aristocratic families. India's census began during his tenure. He was the first Governor General to be murdered by Pathan Sher Ali in Port Blair while he was still in office. Consider the following. Wholesale price index, number one. Number two, consumer price index. Number three, national income deflator. Which among the above can be used to measure inflation? Many measures are available for measurement of inflation. For example, wholesale price index, that is option number one, which is on a point-to-point -point basis and on average basis. Consumer price index, which is option number two, or national income deflator, which is option three. So clearly the answer is all one, two, three. The availability of these indices also differ from weekly to quarterly. The basic premise for linking with inflation is to ensure a positive real rate of interest to the investors. Which among the following awards are given to recognize outstanding worldwide achievement in the field of tobacco control? The correct answer is Luther L. Terry Award. Named after the late United States Surgeon General Luther L. Terry, MD, whose groundbreaking work established the foundation for public health scrutiny of the dangers of tobacco use, the awards honor outstanding leadership and accomplishment and are synonymous with excellence and signify that the recipients are among the very best in the world at what they do. Potassium permanganate is used to purify water, which among the following properties help it work? The correct answer is oxidizing. 
For example, oxidation of aromatic alkenes with potassium permanganate give carboxylic acids. Which among the following is a common salt in detergents? Modern fabric washing powders contain a number of chemical ingredients in various proportions. Powder detergents for washing clothes usually contain sodium sulfate simply to bulk up the product. So the correct answer is sulfate. Which among the following is a major component of gober gas? It is primarily methane and carbon dioxide and may have small amounts of hydrogen sulfide, moisture and siloxanes. The gases, methane, hydrogen and carbon dioxide can be combusted or oxidized with oxygen. So the correct answer is methane. Which among the following chemicals is used in photography? The correct answer is silver bromide. Silver bromide is a soft pale yellow water insoluble salt which is well known along with other silver halides for its unusual sensitivity to light. It is widely used in photographic films and is believed by some to have been used for making the shroud of turing. When sulfur is heated with rubber, the process is commonly known as vulcanization. Natural rubber becomes soft at high temperatures which are greater than 335 Kelvin and brittle at low temperatures that is temperatures less than 283 Kelvin and shows high water absorption capacity. It is soluble in non-polar solvents and is non-resistant to attack by oxidizing agents. To improve upon these physical properties, the process of vulcanization is carried out. This process consists of heating a mixture of raw rubber with sulfur and an appropriate additive at a temperature range between 373 to 415 Kelvin. On vulcanization, sulfur forms cross links at the reactive sites of the double bond and thus the rubber gets stiffened. In the manufacture of tire rubbers, 5% of sulfur is used as a cross-linking agent. Which among the following is a common end product of anaerobic respiration? The correct answer is lactic acid. When the body produces energy for exercise without oxygen, which is the definition of anaerobic respiration, there are two types of uh, respirations that we need to know about. The immediate ATP PC system and the lactic acid system. So the end product becomes lactic acid. PVC is a polymer of vinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride or PVC is made from the monomer vinyl chloride. It is used for making raincoats, handbags, toys, including dolls, electrical goods and as a covering of electrical wires. Carnotite is a mineral of which among the following metals? Carnotite is a potassium uranium vanadate radioactive. The water content can vary and small amounts of calcium, barium, magnesium, iron and sodium are often present. So the correct answer is uranium. Which among the following judges is known for having pioneered the PIL or public interest litigation? The correct answer is Justice P. N. Bhagwati. Bhagwati began his career practicing at Bombay High Court. As a Supreme Court judge, Bhagwati introduced the concepts of public interest litigation and absolute liability to the Indian judicial system. He is therefore held, along with Justice V. R. Krishna Iyer, to have pioneered judicial activism in the country. Which among the following amendments of Constitution of India had accorded precedence to directive principles over fundamental rights? The correct answer is 42nd Amendment. The 42nd Amendment to Constitution of India, officially known as the Constitution 42nd Amendment Act 1976, was enacted during the emergency between 25th June 1975 and 21st March 1977 by the Indian National Congress government headed by Indira Gandhi. It laid down the fundamental duties of Indian citizens to the nation. In which city of India, 90% of the world's small diamonds are processed? The correct answer is Surat. By 2005, India was cutting and polishing 92% of the world's diamonds, the bulk of which went to the US followed by China and Russia. The population of Surat grew 55% from 2001 to 2011 and is currently estimated at 6 million of which 1 million are employed in the diamond industry. 
when ozone is heated its volume will remain unchanged typically when the temperature increases so does the surface ozone ozone production accelerates at high temperatures and emission of natural components of ozone increase high temperatures are also accompanied by weak winds causing the atmosphere to stagnate which among the following is a biodiversity hotspot the correct answer is western ghats a biodiversity hotspot is an area with unusual concentration of species many of which are endemic it is marked by serious threat to its biodiversity by humans the concept was given in 1988 by norman myers india shares its territories into three biodiversity hotspots which are eastern himalaya western ghats and indo burma out of them eastern himalaya and western ghats are mostly located within india's territory in the indo burma biodiversity hotspot india shares only a small part in northeast india the indo burma biodiversity hotspot includes parts of northeastern india bangladesh and malaysia chlorophyll absorbs which of the wavelength of the sunlight now we know that chlorophyll looks green to us which means green is being reflected back what it absorbs then is red and blue so it absorbs red and blue light and reflects green light back at us which among the following is a millet the correct answer is sorghum sorghum is the world's fifth most important cereal crop after rice wheat maize and barley Sorghum by color is typically an annual but some cultivators cultivate it as perennial it grows in clumps that may reach over 4 meter high the grain is small ranging from 2 to 4 mm in diameter which among the following is india's first national park the correct answer is corbett so jim corbett national park is a project tiger reserve situated in nainital uttarakhand It was established in 1936 as Haley National Park. It is the oldest national park of India. It is also famous as the first project tiger and it was launched in the year 1973. In which organ RBC are selectively destroyed or recycled by macrophages? A macrophage is a large phagocytic cell found in stationary form in the tissues or as a mobile white blood cell especially at sites of infection macrophages are present throughout the body with large numbers in lymph nodes bone marrow and spleen the correct answer here of course is spleen which among the following generally brings rainfall to bihar up and west bengal A western disturbance is an extra tropical storm originating in the Mediterranean region that brings sudden winter rain to the northwestern parts of Indian subcontinent. It is a non-monsoonal precipitation pattern driven by westerlies and it brings rainfall to Bihar, UP and West Bengal. Which acid is described as HOOCCOOH? or C2H2O4 the correct answer is oxalic acid which is a colorless crystalline solid that forms a colorless solution in water uh, it reflects its classification as the simplest dicarboxylic acid in this expanded formula its acid strength is much greater than that of acetic acid which among the following is rich in ozone the correct answer is stratosphere The ozone layer or ozone shield is a region of earth's stratosphere that absorbs most of the sun's ultraviolet radiation. It contains high concentration of ozone in relation to other parts of the atmosphere, although still small in relation to other gases in the stratosphere. Right to vote can be placed in which among the following categories? Right to vote has been recognized under Article 326 of the Constitution of India and it states that no person can be denied right to vote if that person fulfills the need of adult suffrage or that they are above the age of 18. since it has been mentioned under the constitution of india even though not under the part 3 of the constitution it is a constitutional right and not a fundamental right first session of lok sabha was held in which among the following years 
The first Lok Sabha was constituted on 17th April 1952 after India's first general election. The first Lok Sabha lasted in its full tenure of 5 years and was dissolved on 4th April 1957. Which organ in herbivorous animals helps in digestion of starch through bacteria? The correct answer is caecum. Caecum is a pouch connected to the large intestine and the ileum. In herbivores, it is greatly enlarged and serves as a storage organ that permits bacteria and other microbes time to further digest cellulose. In which among the following parts of the alimentary canal, the renin enzyme is secreted? Renin which is scientifically known as chymosine is a proteolytic enzyme related to pepsin that synthesized by chief cells in the stomach of some animals its role in digestion is to curdle or coagulate milk in the stomach a process of considerable importance in very young animals so the correct answer is stomach President can proclaim a state of financial emergency under which among the following articles if the president is satisfied there is an economic situation in which the financial stability or credit of india is threatened he or she can declare financial emergency such an emergency must be approved by parliament within 2 months and this is mentioned in article 360 Corpus callosum makes an important part of which among the following organs in the human body the corpus callosum is a thick band of nerve fibers that divides the cerebral cortex lobes into left and right hemisphere it connects the left and right sides of the brain allowing for communication between both hemispheres so the correct answer is brain which among the following is not a fish the correct answer being cuttlefish Cuttlefish or cuttles are marine mollusks of the order Cypripeda. They belong to the class Cephalopoda, which includes squid, octopuses, and nautiluses. Cuttlefish have a unique internal shell, the cuttle bone. Hieroglyphic writing is a part of which ancient civilization? We all know the correct answer is Egyptian. Between 4000 and 3000 BC, Egyptians developed a kind of picture writing known as hieroglyphics. The first writing consisted of pictures of objects such as house. Gradually, they started using ideas as well as objects. For example, a picture of an eye could mean sight or eye. In time, the writers also used picture signs to indicate sound. Which among the following is a major source of salt in India? The correct answer is salt pan. India is the third largest producer of salt in the world and major salt producing states of India are Gujarat, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Odisha. Which among the following is known as white gold? The correct answer is platinum because of its white shiny color it is known as white gold. Hirakud Hydro Power Station is located on which river? Hirakud Dam is built along Mahanadi River, built across it actually, and the dam is one of the world's longest earthen dams. It is located in the state of Orissa. Which among the following is not an oil-producing field? Option A, Bombay High, is an offshore oil field. It is located off the coast of Mumbai. Dick Boy, located in Assam, is the first uh, oil-producing field in Asia. Ankaleshwar in Kambay Basin is in Gujarat which is also an oil field however Jamnagar is not one Yavan Priya in ancient Hindu text refers to which among the following uh, the correct answer is pepper which was one of the most requirable things imported by greek traders in ancient india in sanskrit literature it is known as yavan priya where yavan means youth and priya something loved by youth uh, so at that point in uh, india people actually wanted these peppers which was new then so it was called yavan priya which among the following organs open in small intestine through pylorus the correct answer is stomach the pylorus is the furthest part of the stomach that connects to the duodenum it is divided into two parts the antrum which connects to the body of the stomach and the pyloric canal which connects to the duodenum The terms udara, mudara and tara are related to which among the following as per ancient Indian text. The correct answer is music. 
Who among the following is the author of Dharma Shastra? The correct answer is Manu. Dharma Shastra is a genre of Sanskrit texts and refers to the treatises of Hinduism on Dharma. There are many Dharma Shastras estimated to be anything between 18 and 100 with different and sometimes conflicting points of view. India's only active volcano is located at which among the following places? The correct answer is Barren Island. The Barren Island is located in the Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands and is the only confirmed active volcano in the whole of South Asia. In which among the following state is the Zojila Pass located? Zojila is a high mountain pass in the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir, located on National Highway 1 between Srinagar and Leh in the western section of the Himalayan mountain range. It separates Kashmir Valley to the west from Dras Valley to its northeast. Which among the following longitudes determines the Indian standard of time? Uh, so this longitude, we have named its standard meridian and it is 82.5 degree east. This was fixed in 1906 and our IST is five and a half hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. If Earth stops rotating, the impact on weight of a body will be minimum on which among the following places. If the Earth stopped spinning suddenly, the atmosphere would still be in motion with the Earth's original 1100 miles per hour rotation speed at the equator. All of the land masses would be scoured clean of anything not attached to bedrock, but the North Pole will be least affected. So the correct answer is North Pole. Who among the following was the first Indian cricketer to bag 500 wickets in test matches? The correct answer is Anil Kumble. Kumble claimed his 500th test wicket in the second test of England's tour of India in March 2006 when he dismissed Steve Harmison with a LBW. He became the first Indian and fifth overall to reach the mark. After returning to India from the 2007 World Cup, he announced his retirement from ODIs on 30th March. Suez Canal joins Mediterranean Sea with which among the following seas? Suez Canal is an artificial sea level waterway in Egypt. It links the Mediterranean with the Red Sea through Isthmus of Suez. It was first opened in 1869 after a decade of construction. So the correct answer is Red Sea. Strategically, the Suez Canal and economically is one of the most important waterways in the world, providing the shortest sea link between Asia and Europe. Shagar landscape in Rajasthan is being considered for relocation or reintroduction of which among the following animals. Shagar landscape or Shagar bulge landscape is located in Jaisalmer district in Rajasthan. The area is protected area for reintroduction of cheetah. The nearest city to this area is Jaisalmer. Chinkara will be the primary prey for the cheetahs. Cheetah have been declared extinct in India in 1952. Who among the following was the first Indian to win an Olympic medal? The correct answer is K.D. Jadav. K.D. Jadav or Kashabad Dada Sahib Jadav won a bronze medal in 1952 Summer Olympics in Helsinki in wrestling and was one of the first athletes from India to win a medal in the Olympics. India played its first one-day international with which country and in which year? The correct answer is England in 1975. The advent of one-day international cricket in 1971 created a new dimension in the world of cricket. India went on to play against England in 1975. Gavaskar infamously blocked his way to 36 not out of 174 balls against England in the World Cup in 1975 and India scored just 132 for 3 and lost by 202 runs. Under which among the following Governor Generals of India, the Public Works Department was started in 1848? The correct answer is Lord Dalhousie. Lord Dalhousie established the Central Public Work Department and education projects were the first among them to be started. Public Works Department was formally established in the year 1854. 
in the sixth year of Lord Dalhousie's tenure as Governor General. Which among the following country is inside the European Union but outside the Eurozone? The correct answer is Denmark. Nine countries Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Hungary, Poland, Romania, Sweden, and the United Kingdom are EU members but do not use the euro. Before joining the eurozone, a state must spend two years in the European exchange rate mechanism. Jan Fleming is known for creating which among the following famous characters? Jan Fleming was an English author, journalist, and naval intelligence officer who is best known for his James Bond series of spy novels. Fleming wrote his first Bond novel, Casino Royale, in 1952. It was a success with three print runs being commissioned to cope with the demand. Eleven Bond novels and two collection of short stories followed between 1953 and 1966. In ancient India, the term Nishka was related to which among the following? The correct answer is currency. The world's oldest currency coins were issued in ancient India during the Vedic period and were called Nishka and Mana. Nishka coins were small gold units of definite weight. During that time, there were gold coins called Nishka and Suvarna for large transactions, silver coins called Karshapana and Dharana for mid-sized transactions, and copper coins called Karshapana for everyday household transactions. Birth anniversary of which among the following leaders is observed as National Education Day. National Education Day of India is celebrated on 11th November every year to commemorate the birth anniversary of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad, the first education minister of independent India who served from 15th August 1947 until 2nd February 1958. Which among the following seas is known for highest salinity? The correct answer is the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea, bordering Israel, the West Bank and Jordan, is a salt lake whose banks are more than 400 meters below sea level, the lowest point on dry land. Its famously hypersaline water makes floating easy and its mineral-rich black mud is used for therapeutic and cosmetic treatments at area resorts. The surrounding desert offers many oases and historic sites. What is normally found in the western side of the continent situated near tropics? Most of the world's deserts found on the western margins of continents in the subtropics is because the prevailing winds in tropics are tropical easterly winds. The tropical easterly winds become dry by the time they reach the western margins of the continents and so they bring no rainfall. Approximately how much time does a sun ray take reaching Earth? Sunlight travels at the speed of light. Photons emitted from the surface of the sun need to travel across the vacuum of space to reach our eyes. The short answer is that it takes sunlight an average of 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel from the sun to the earth, that is 8 into 60 plus 20 seconds or 500 seconds. What is the number of known satellites of Jupiter? There are 79 known satellites of Jupiter. This gives Jupiter the largest number of moons with reasonably stable orbits of any planet in the solar system. How many times sun is heavier than the earth? The sun is 13,91,000 kilometers across. This is about 109 times the diameter of earth. The sun weighs about 33,30,000 times the weight of this earth. How long does earth take to turn 1 degree longitude during its rotation? It takes an average of 24 hours from the time the sun is directly over a certain longitude to the next time the sun is directly over the same longitude. There are 360 degrees of longitude around the whole planet. So if we divide 24 hours by 360 degrees of longitude, we get 4 minutes per degree of longitude. The correct answer is 4 minutes. Which among the following dates would normally represent a winter solstice in Northern Hemisphere? 
The winter solstice, also known as midwinter, occurs when one of the Earth's poles has its maximum tilt away from the sun. It happens twice yearly, once in each hemisphere. For that hemisphere, the winter solstice is the day with the shortest period of daylight and longest night of the year when the sun is at its lowest daily maximum elevation in the sky. In the northern hemisphere, this is the December solstice, usually 21st or 22nd of December. And in southern hemisphere, this is the June solstice, usually 20 or 21st June. Which among the following is the longest day in the northern hemisphere? The summer solstice, also known as midsummer, occurs when one of Earth's poles has its maximum tilt towards the sun. It happens twice yearly, once in each hemisphere. For that hemisphere, the summer solstice is when the sun reaches its highest position in the sky and is the day with the longest period of daylight. At the pole, there is continuous daylight around the summer solstice. In the north, it falls usually on June 21st. What kind of forests are found in Siberian climate? Siberian type climate is typified by bitterly cold winters of long duration and cool brief summer and lies across the 60 degree north of equator. The predominant vegetation is evergreen coniferous forests. The conifers which require little moisture are best suited to this type of subarctic climate. Kip is the currency of which country? Kip is the currency of Laos. Since 1952, historically one kip was divided into 100 at. One Indian rupee is roughly 123 kip. Demand of which among the following will be called as direct demand. Direct demand refers to demand for goods meant for final consumption. It is the demand for consumers goods like food items, ready-made garments and houses. In these options, wool for factory, wool for making gloves, weaving machine, these are all uh, middle tier stuff which are used to make further things. However, sweater is something that the consumer uses directly. Hence, the correct answer is sweater. Sales from domestic tariff area or DTA to SEZs are to be treated as which among the following? Domestic tariff areas or domestic tariff zones means an area within India that is outside the special economic zones or SEZs. So any area which is not under the jurisdiction of a custom bonded area is called a domestic tariff area. In both cases, the sales are exports. Which among the following is a correct expansion of EPCG? EPCG is Export Promotion Capital Goods Schemes that helps in facilitating the import of capital goods for manufacturing quality goods and to augment the competitiveness of India's export. EPCG scheme enables the import of capital goods that are used in pre-production, production and post-production without the payment of custom duties. Which among the following commodities is completely deregulated in India? Diesel, kerosene, these all have regulations attached. However, gasoline has none. In which among the following sector of Indian economy, the public sector is most prominent? Public transport remains the primary mode of transport for most Indian citizens and India's public transport systems are among the most heavily used in the world. As a result, the correct answer here would be transport. In fact, Indian Railways receives a humongous volume of commutators and is one of the largest employers in the world. At which among the following places India's first steel factory was established? The correct answer is Barnpur, which is in Asansol. So, uh, in 1870, a small plant was founded by James Erskine in the jungles of Kulti to make iron. This produced only cast iron. Starting off as Bengal Iron Works Company, it became Burakar Iron Works in 1881 and was renamed as Bengal Iron and Steel Company in 1890. Later, in 1926, the company again changed its name to Bengal Iron Company Limited. Which among the following industries in India provided employment maximum workers in comparison to the other three? So we don't need 
the uh, maximum employment done by any industry we need the one among this options so 60 percent of india's textile industry is cotton based here among jute sugar cotton textile and cement cotton textile is the correct answer they account for the largest sector of the textile production in india this sector has a share of 62% of India's total production and provides employment to about 4.8 million people. What is India's rank in production of sugarcane? We are currently the second largest sugarcane producers in the world after Brazil. In fact, we have had a huge 10% jump or we are projecting a 10% jump between October 2018 and September 2019. And we are set to produce 35.5 million tons of sugar. This means we will unseat Brazil very soon. In how many zones Indian Railways has been divided? The correct answer is 17 zones. They are Central, Eastern, Northern, Northeastern, Southeastern, Northeast Frontier, East Central, East Coast, North Central, Northwestern, West Central, Southern, South Central, Southeast Central, southwestern western these are the 16 zones in the country other than that kolkata metro is the 17 zone or is considered the 17 zone life insurance corporation of india is a corporation established by a special act of parliament it is an indian state-owned insurance group and investment company headquartered in mumbai in 1955 parliamentarian amol barate raised the matter of insurance fraud by owners of private insurance agencies. The Parliament of India then passed the Life Insurance India Act on 19th June 1956, creating the Life Insurance Corporation of India, which started operating in September of that year. The nationalization of the life insurance business in India was a result of the Industrial Policy Resolution of 1956, which had created a policy framework for extending state control over at least 17 sectors of the economy, including life insurance. Consider the following. Help ISRO in research. 2. Help Department of Space in new discoveries. 3. Commercially sell products and services of Indian space. Which among the above is or are the correct objectives of Antrix? Antrix is the commercial arm of Indian Space Research Organization. It is an anglicized version of Antariksha from the Sanskrit word for space. It functions under the aegis of Department of Space an independent department directly working under the Prime Minister. So the correct answer is commercially sell products and services of Indian space or only three. Which among the following diseases is also known as pink eye? The correct answer is conjunctivitis which is also known as pink eye. It is an inflammation of the conjunctiva. The conjunctiva is the thin clear tissue that lies over the white part of the eye and lines the inside of the eyelid. Which among the following is used to listen and record underwater sound? Now, Among the options you can probably tell it's hydrophone and it's the correct answer. A hydrophone is a microphone designed to be used underwater for recording or listening to underwater sound. Most hydrophones are based on a piezoelectric transducer that generates an electric potential when subjected to a pressure change such as a sound wave. Which among the following is measured using a vernier caliper? The correct answer is dimensions. The vernier caliper is an extremely precise measuring instrument. It is used to measure internal and external distances extremely accurately. The error may be as little as 0.05 millimeter depending on the make. Who among the following are considered to be the first owners of Kohinoor diamond? The correct answer is Kakatiyas. There are two versions of the origin of the diamond. First version is that it was mined in 13th century in Kakatiya territories near Guntur in modern Andhra Pradesh. It was under possessions of Kakatiya rulers until Malik Kafur, the general of Alauddin Khilji, raided Warangal and possibly acquired this gem. It remained with Khiljis and then passed on to several Delhi Sultanate dynasties 
until it came into possession of Babur and successive Mughals. Another version says that it was discovered in 1650s in the diamond mines of Golconda and was presented by Mirjumla to Shah Jahan who got it embedded into the Peacock throne. Vedic mythology refers to an ancient settlement called Pushkalavati after Pushkal who was the son of King Bharata in the epic Ramayana. What is the modern location of Pushkalavati? The correct answer is Peshawar. Pushkalavati was capital of ancient kingdom of Gandhar. Its ruins are currently located in Charsadda, Pakistan. Located in Peshawar Valley in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, formerly Northwest Frontier Province. In fact, Pushkalavati was home of the Sanskrit grammarian Panini. Which among the following is the correct location of the adrenal glands in the human body? As you can see in the pictures, they are caps right above the kidney. Each adrenal gland is located on the top of each kidney, forming a hat-like structure on the top of the kidneys. Each gland has two parts, the outer cortical portion and the inner adrenal cortex. Further, there is a central part called the adrenal medulla. Who was the first Indian to get elected in House of Commons? The correct answer is Dada Bhai Nauruji, who is known as mentor of both Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Mahatma Gandhi. His magnum opus, Poverty and Un-British Rule in India, propounded the train theory. He was the first Indian to become a member of the House of Commons on the Liberal Party ticket. He served as member in the House of Commons from 1892 to 1895. He became the president of Indian National Congress thrice, once in 1886, then in 1893, and finally in 1906. Which among the following is the official language of Union Territory of Lakshadweep? The correct answer is Malayalam. Malayalam with Malayalam script was introduced as the official language of Lakshadweep during the British Raj. Previously, a type of Arabic script, Arabi Malayalam, was used for the language. The policy was continued by the Indian government. Baba Amte is known for which of the following social work? Murlitha Devidas Amte, popularly known as Baba Amte, was an Indian social worker and social activist known particularly for his work for the rehabilitation and empowerment of the people suffering from leprosy. He and his wife, Sadhana Amte, started an organization for leprosy patients at Anandwan in 1950. Lake Corbusier was the architect of which city among the following? The correct answer is Chandigarh. The best known architect recruited to the efforts of creating a new India was one of the founders of modernism in architecture, the Swiss Lake Corbusier. The showbiz of his genius is Chandigarh, built as the capital of Punjab and Haryana. Outside Chandigarh, his most influential structures include Sarabhai House in Ahmedabad, Milona's Association Building in Ahmedabad, Interstate Bus Terminal in New Delhi, Permanent Exhibition Hall of Pragati Maidan in New Delhi. Which among the following states produce rubber in large quantities? The correct answer is Kerala. Kerala accounts for more than 90% of the total rubber production in the country. The total area under rubber cultivation in the state is 5.45 lakh hectares. Rest of the natural rubber is produced in Tamil Nadu and northeast states. National Technology Day is celebrated on which date? The National Technology Day is celebrated every year on May 11 by the Union Ministry of Science and Technology to mark the historic feat of test firing its first nuclear capable missile back in 1998 and to commemorate the achievements of innovation and technology in India. On what date World No Tobacco Day is observed? The correct answer is May 31st. In 1988, World Health Assembly of WHO or World Health Organization had passed a resolution calling for the celebration of World No Tobacco Day every year on May 31st. Since then, WHO has supported the observance of World No Tobacco Day every year. Who among the following presents Lutheral Terry Awards? 
We have already come across this in a previous quiz. Luther Altari Awards was created to honor the exemplary individual and organizational achievements in the field of tobacco control and prevention throughout the world and it is presented by American Cancer Society. Serfs Emancipation Day is related to which of the following place? This is related to Tibet. On March 28th, the annual holiday is maintained in the Tibet Autonomous Region of China, which celebrates the emancipation of serfs in Tibet. The holiday was adopted by the Tibetan legislature on January 19, 2009 and was promulgated the same year. Kachasha, which is the most popular alcoholic drink and made from sugarcane, is also the national spirit of Brazil. This is distilled spirit made from fermented sugarcane juice and it is the most popular spirit among distilled alcoholic beverages in Brazil. Outside of Brazil, it is also popular and exclusively used as an ingredient for tropical drinks. Fifth schedule of Indian constitution contains languages. The eighth schedule of the constitution of India lists the official languages of the Republic of India. There are 22 official languages which as you can see on screen are Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Kashmiri, Konkani, Malayalam, Manipuri, Marathi, Nepali, Oriya, Punjabi, Sanskrit, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu, Urdu, Bodo, Sandhali, Maithili and Dogri. What is the common name of calcium sulfate hemihydrate? The correct answer is plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is calcium sulfate hemihydrate and the formula is CaSO4 dot half of H2 or 2 CaSO4 dot 1 H2. The powder is called plaster of Paris because the gypsum which was used to get the powder was mainly found in Paris. Which of the following type of coal has maximum carbon content? The correct answer is anthracite which is often referred to as hard coal and is a hard compact variety of coal that has a submetallic luster. It has the highest carbon content, the fewest impurities and the highest energy density of all types of coal and is the highest ranking of coal. It is followed by bituminous. Which among the following dynasties is known to have given the largest grant of villages to the temples and Brahmins? The correct answer is Guptas. Early Pali texts refer to the villages granted to the Brahmins by the rulers as Brahma Devya. Rig Veda was written during which among the following ages? Rig Veda is known as the oldest religious text in the world. It is also known as the first testament of mankind. It was composed around 1700 BC, which is the Iron Age. Last hymns were composed between 1500 to 1200 BC. It's a collection of hymns by a number of priest families. It is organized in 10 books which are called mandalas. For the first time in Indian history, the description of state administration was found for which among the following periods? The correct answer is Maurya period. The establishment of the modern empire in contrast to the earlier smaller kingdoms ushered a new form of government that was centralized. The Mauryan Empire indicates the triumph of monarchy as a political system over tribal republics. A study of the Arthashastra in conjunction with the edicts provides information regarding the administrative structure. Who among the following is ascribed for the work Mudraksha? The correct answer is Vishakhadatta. So, uh, Kautilya's Arthashastra, Ashoka's inscriptions, Megasthenes' Indica and Vishakhadatta's Mudra Kakshash are the main source of Mauryan history. Which among the following kings have been linked to the Sudama Caves? The Sudama Caves were built by Ashoka and were dedicated to Ajivikas. So the correct answer is Ashoka. The Sudama and Lomas Rishi Caves represent the earliest example of rock-cut architecture in India. They belong to the 3rd century Maurya period. The Sudama cave was dedicated by the Emperor Ashoka in 261 BCE and consists of a circular vaulted chamber with a rectangular mandap. 
What was the function of Samhatta in Mauryan administration? Samhatta was in charge of collection of revenue from various parts of the kingdom and looked after the income and expenditure by supervising the works of the Aksha Patalatyaksha or accountant generals. Sources of revenue as listed in Arthashastra include that of cities, land, mines, forests, roads, tolls, fines, licenses, manufactured products, merchandise of various kinds and precious stones. All Indians are free and not even one of them is a slave. Who among the following has observed the above about Mauryan Empire? The correct answer is Megasthenes. Megasthenes was an ancient Greek historian, diplomat and Indian ethnographer and explorer in the Hellenistic period. He described India in his book Indica, which is now lost but has been partially reconstructed from the writings of later authors. Pushyamitra Shongya, who was originally a Senapati of the Mauryan Empire and assassinated the last Mauryan Emperor Brihadrath in 185 BC, was a Brahmin. Pushyamitra Shongya was the hereditary ruler of Vidisha. It was incorporated into the Maurya Empire up till his led Kupdayat. Several sources suggest that Pushyamitra was a Brahmin and the 16th century Buddhist scholar Taranath explicitly calls him a Brahmin king. There is only one edict in which Ashoka refers himself as king of Magadha or Laja Magadha. Identify the edict from the following. The correct answer is Minor Rock Edict of Mashi. The Minor Rock Edicts of Ashoka are rock inscriptions which form the earliest part of the edicts of Ashoka and predate Ashoka's major rock edicts. These are the first edicts in the Indian language of Emperor Ashoka written in the Brahmi script in the 11th year of his reign. They follow chronologically the Kandahar bilingual rock inscription in Greek and in Aramaic written in the 10th year of his reign, which is first known inscription of Ashoka. At which among the following places Chandragupta Maurya spent his last days? The correct answer is Shavanavela Gola, which is a town located near Channarapatna of Hazan district in the Indian state of Karnataka, and it is 144 kilometers from the city of Bangalore. Chandragupta Maurya is said to have died here in 298 BCE after he became a Jain monk and assumed an ascetic lifestyle. The 90 East Ridge is a submarine volcanic ridge located in, as you can see on the map, it is located in the Indian Ocean. The 90 East Ridge is a 5500 kilometer long north south oriented submarine volcanic ridge in the eastern Indian Ocean that formed from magmatism associated with the deep seated Kegolan mantle plume as the Indian plate drifted rapidly northward during the late Cretaceous period. The Hemland province of Afghanistan is famous for cultivation of opium. Hemland is one of the 34 provinces of Afghanistan located in south of the country. Helmand is believed to be one of the world's largest opium producing regions responsible for around 75% of the world's total production. This is believed to be more than the whole of Burma, which is the second largest producing nation after Afghanistan. The cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki are located on which among the following islands of Japanese archipelago? The correct answer is Honshu and Kyushu respectively. Honshu is the largest and the most populous island of Japan located south of Hokkaido across the Sugaru Strait, north of Shikoku across the Inland Sea and northeast of Kyushu across the Kanmon Straits. Kyushu is the third largest island of Japan and mostly southwesterly of its four main islands. The island is separated from Honshu by the Kamon Strait. Which of the following countries are separated by Strait of Gibraltar? The Strait of Gibraltar is a narrow strait that connects Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea, as you can see on the map. So the correct answer here is Morocco and Spain. 
So it separates the peninsula Spain in Europe from Morocco and Ceuta in Africa. The names come from the rock of Gibraltar which in turn originates from the Arabic Jebel Tariq named after Tariq ibn Ziyad. Which of the following places of the world is known for guano? A uniquely produced natural fertilizer which has a high concentration of nitrates. Guano is basically a bird excreta. So it originates from the quiche language of the Andes and means the droppings of seabird. It is popular in the coastal headlands and islands of Peru where it is manufactured. Andean people collected guano from the coast of Peru for use as soil enricher. Laterite soils are formed due to the following actions. The correct answer is leaching. Laterite is a soil and rock type rich in iron and aluminium and is commonly considered to have been formed in hot and wet tropical areas. Nearly all laterites are of rusty red coloration because of the high iron oxide content. They develop intensive and prolonged weathering of underlying parent rocks. Pemba and Zanzibar Islands of Africa are famous for the cultivation and export of cloves. Pemba Island is part of Tanzania's Zanzibar archipelago off the coast of East Africa. It's known for its lush green hills and clove plantations. The temperate grasslands or shrubland biome is commonly known as 1. Steppe in Central Asia, 2. Prairie in North America, 3. Weld in South America. Choose the correct options. So it is known as Steppe in Central Asia and Prairie in North America. However, in South America it is known as Pampas. Which of the following rivers of North America originate from the Rocky Mountains? 1. Mississippi. 2 Missouri, 3 Colorado, 4 Rio de Grande, 5 Columbia. The correct answer is Missouri, Colorado and Columbia which is options 2, 3 and 5. Um, so the major Atlantic bound rivers rising in the Rockies include the Rio Grande, Arkansas, Platte, Yellowstone, Missouri and Saskatchewan. Those draining to the Arctic include the Peace, Athabasca and the Yard Rivers. Flowing to the Pacific Ocean are Colorado, Columbia, Snake, Fraser and Yukon Rivers. Which of the following are erosional landforms? 1. Incel Box, 2. Louis, 3. Zugin. The correct answer is Incel Box, Zugin and Buttes or 1, 3 and 4 which is option C. Now, Louis is a depositional landform and not a uh, erosional landform whereas Inselbergs, Eugen and Buttes are all erosional landforms. Inselbergs are usually because of ero erosion. Uh, what happens with Eugen is wind abrasions and in case of Buttes it's formed by erosion when hard cap rock covers a layer of softer rock that is eventually worn away. What is India's rank in production of sugarcane? The correct answer is second. India is second in the world when it comes to production of sugarcane. The top is Brazil and India is followed by China, Thailand, Pakistan and Mexico, which are the top countries which produce sugarcane. Who among the following leaders announced the industrial policy of 1956? Our then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru announced this industrial policy resolution of 1956 is a resolution adopted by the Indian Parliament in April 1956. According to this resolution, the objective of the social and economic policy in India was the establishment of a socialistic pattern of society. It provided more powers to the governmental machinery. Which among the following was set up by Government of India in 1988 with objective of developing multimodal logistics support for India's international and domestic containerized cargo and trade? The correct answer is Container Corporation of India. Container Corporation of India Limited is a Navratna public sector undertaking under the Indian Ministry of Railways. Incorporated in March 1988 under the Companies Act, Concord commenced operations in November 1989, taking over an existing network of seven inland container depots from Indian Railways. 
Which among the following is the correct full form of CEDO? The correct answer is Small Industries Development Organization. The Small Industries Development Organization is the National SME Development Agency of India. It is a major constituent of Ministry of Small Scale Industries of the Government of India. A senior official of the Government of India who is designated as the Development Commissioner for Small Scale Industries, head CEDO. Which among the following is the cheapest mode of transport in terms of fixed plus running cost? Fixed means building, running means operating. And the correct answer is waterways. India has an extensive network of inland waterways in the form of rivers, canals, backwaters and creeks. The total navigable length is 14,500 km. The cost of water transport in India is roughly 50% and uh, when compared to railways, railways cost rupee 1 and roads cost 1.5 rupee for each kilometer. Water transport is receiving significant attention in recent times as logistics costs in India are some of the highest among major countries. Which among the following is characterized by highest fixed cost and lowest running cost? The correct answer is pipeline transport. Pipelines are usually used to transport a fuel from the site where it is found to where it can be processed. Pipelines are very expensive to build, but they are very cheap to keep running and maintain. Which among the following is the most important bulk import of India? The correct answer is petroleum. In fact, oil and gas industry in India imports 82% of its oil needs and aims to bring that down to 67% by 2022 by replacing it with local exploration, renewable energy and indigenous ethanol fuel. 1853 is a landmark in India's transport because we ran the first train. The first passenger train in India ran between Bombay and Thane on 16th April of 1853. The 14-carriage train was hauled by three steam locomotives, Sahib, Sindh and Sultan. Hindustan Shipyard Limited is located at Vishakhapatnam, which is on the east coast of our country. It was founded as Sindhya Shipyard and built by industrialist Walchand Hirachand as a part of the Sindhya Steam Navigation Company Limited. HSL has built over 180 vessels till now and repaired almost 2,000 ships. It builds bulk carriers, offshore petrol vessels, survey ships, drill ships, offshore platforms, and repair and support vessels. Which among the following is the largest food item imported by India? The correct answer is vegetable oils. India's annual vegetable, edible, and non-edible oil import is about 15.5 million tons. It produces 6.5 to 9 million tons of oil from vegetables such as soybean, mustard seeds and sesame. Of this, a small quantity is used for medicinal purposes. Total consumption of edible oil in the country is 25 million tons. Sikkim became a new state in the Union by the Dash Amendment Act. The correct answer is the 36th Amendment Act in 1975. Sikkim became a state of India in 1975, April 26th. The Sikkim State Day is observed on 16th May of every year because this was the day when the first Chief Minister of Sikkim assumed office. Sindhi language was included in the list of official languages in the 8th Schedule of our Constitution in which year? The correct answer is 1967. In the Constitution of India, there is a provision made for each of the Indian states to choose their own official language for communicating at state level. The selected languages which can be used for official purpose have been listed in the 8th schedule to the Constitution. Originally, there were 14 languages in the 8th schedule. The further languages were added as follows. Sindhi by 21st Amendment 1967 Konkani, Manipuri and Nepali languages by 71st Amendment 1992, Bodo, Dogri, Santhali and Maithili by 92nd Amendment 2004. India is a secular state and it is explicitly proclaimed in the preamble. We start with we, 
the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic, and to secure to it all its citizens justice, liberty, equality, fraternity. So these are what is enshrined in the preamble to our constitution. Secularism in India means equal treatment of all religions by the state. With the 42nd Amendment of the Constitution of India enacted in 1976, the preamble to the Constitution asserted that India is a secular nation. However, neither India's Constitution nor its law define the relationship between religion and state. The age for retirement of judges from Supreme Courts and High Courts are 65 and 62 respectively. There are currently 26 judges, including Chief Justice of India, against a maximum possible strength of 31. As per the Constitution of India, judges of Supreme Court retire at the age of 65. He, uh, Justice Ranjan Gogoi is the 46th Chief Justice of India. He was sworn in on 3rd October 2018. High Court judges, however, retire at 62. The amendment of the Constitution can be initiated in which of the following? The correct answer is any House of the Parliament. Part 20 of the Constitution of India has only one article, that is Article 368, that deals with the amendment of the Constitution. As per this article, Parliament may add, amend or repeal any provisions of the Constitution as per the procedure laid down for this purpose. A Constitution Amendment Bill can be introduced in any House of the Parliament. A bill for the purpose of amendment of constitution cannot be introduced in any state legislature. An appeal can be made in the Supreme Court of India in civil, criminal and constitutional matters. In India, the Supreme Court has original appellate and advisory jurisdiction. Its exclusive original jurisdiction extends to all cases between the Government of India and the States of India or between Government of India and the states on one side and one or more states on another side or cases between different states. As you can see on screen, powers and functions of the Supreme Court include it being the guardian of the constitution, having original jurisdiction as we just discussed, defender of federation, enforcement of fundamental rights, appellate jurisdiction on civil and criminal matters, special leave to appeal, adversary jurisdiction, review or revisory jurisdiction, court of records, contempt of court and power of judicial review. What is the minimum years of age for candidate for office of vice president? The correct answer is 35. As per article 66, the candidate contesting for election of vice president of India should fulfill the following conditions. A. He must be a citizen of India. Two, he must have completed age of 35 years. C. He cannot hold an office for profit. D. He must be qualified to become a member of Rajya Sabha. Who appoints chairman of UPSC? Now, UPSC is a constitutional body that conducts the prestigious civil service examinations to select IES, IFS and IPS offices among others. It has been established under Article 315 of the Constitution and consists of a chairman and 10 members, appointed and removed by the President. The correct answer here is President. The chairman and members of the Commission hold office for a term of 6 years or until they attend the age of 65 years, whichever is earlier. To whom does UPSC submit its annual report? The correct answer is also President. UPSC submits its annual report to the President of India, who further sends it to the Parliament for discussion. Which among the following authorities can remove the UPSC Chairman? As he is hired by the President, he should also be removed by the President. He can be removed from his office only by the order of the President of India on the ground of misbehavior based on the reference of the Supreme Court. Which among the following causes hydrophobia? The correct answer is virus. Most commonly, it is caused by the rabies virus in the encephalitic stage, 
which means when it affects the brain and causes swelling and inflammation of multiple areas of the brain. Hence, it affects the complex areas in the brain needed for swallowing. Amino acids join together to make polypeptides. What polypeptides make while joining together? So amino acids together form polypeptide chains and uh, what do polypeptides chain together to form? The correct answer is proteins. Proteins are made up of chains of amino acids bound by bonds called peptide bond. There are some 22 different known amino acids which can compose proteins. There may be many more unknown to us. Deficiency of tocopherol leads to sterility in males and females. The popular word for tocopherol is vitamin E. Originally called the anti-sterility factor or anti-sterility vitamin, tocopherol comes from the Greek word tokos meaning offspring and feros meaning to bear. Vitamin E is essential for normal reproduction, muscle development, formation of red blood cells and helping your body use vitamin K. Which among the following glands secretes adrenocorticotropic hormones? The correct answer is pituitary gland. The pituitary gland or hypophysis is located in one of the bones at the base of the skull. It has two portions, the anterior hypophysis and the posterior hypophysis. The anterior part produces two hormones that work directly the growth hormone and prolactin and four tropic hormones uh, which regulate other endocrine glands the adrenocorticotropic hormone or ACTH, the thyroid stimulating hormone of DSH, the luteinizing hormone or LH and follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. The posterior part releases two hormones produced in the hypothalamus oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone or ADH or vasopressin. A pollen tube is used to transport sperm cells. Pollen is produced by the stamen, the male reproductive organ of the flower. Each pollen grain contains a vegetative cell and a generative cell that divides to form two sperm cells. Due to the absence of a motility system, sperm cells of flower plants rely on directional growth of the pollen tube towards the egg apparatus, which is deeply embedded in the maternal tissue of the ovary and ovule, respectively. Consider the following statements. Number one, alimentary canal is longer in herbivorous animals in comparison to carnivorous animals. Two, herbivorous animals need long alimentary canal to break down tough cellulose found in the plant. Which among the above statements is or are correct? The correct answer is both 1 and 2. Both herbivores and omnivores have longer alimentary canal than carnivores. Herbivores have large cecum which helps in digestion of plant materials such as cellulose. On the other hand, carnivores have shorter digestive tract as they can absorb nutrients more quickly which they get from meat. Which among the following is not found in RNA? The correct answer is thymine. RNA is a polymer with the ribose and phosphate backbone and four different bases adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracine. The first three are same as those found in DNA, but in RNA, thymine in DNA is replaced by uracil as the base complementary to adenine. This base is also pyridine and is very similar to thymine. MON 863 is a genetically engineered variety of which among the following? The correct answer is maize. MON863 is a variety of genetically engineered maize produced by Monsanto, which is an American agrochemical and agricultural biotechnology corporation. Which among the following in human heart is or are responsible for contractions that send the blood through circulation? Correct answer is both the ventricles. During the contraction of the ventricles, the ventricles interact with the atria as well as with the pericardium and the surrounding tissue in which the heart is embedded. The atria are stretched and the atrioventricular plane moves towards the apex. 
Which among the following is different from other three? The correct answer is fish. Because except fish, the rest of them are invertebrate. In India, the commercial banks are required to provide how much percentage of their advances to priority sector? The correct answer is 40%. Priority sector lending is an important role given by the Reserve Bank of India to the banks for providing a specific portion of bank lending to few specific sectors like agriculture and allied activities, micro and small enterprises, poor people for housing, students for education, and other low-income groups and weaker sections. This is essentially meant for an all-round development of the economy as opposed to focusing only on the financial sector. All the foreign funds to come forward as foreign institutional investments or FII prior to any investment are needed to register in which among the following bodies? The correct answer is SEBI. FIIs who obtain specific approval from SEBI have been permitted to invest 100% of their portfolios in debt securities. Such investment may be listed or to be listed corporate debt securities or in dated government securities and is treated to be part of the overall limit on external commercial borrowing. In which year was the first national forest policy issued by the government of India? The correct answer is 1952. The first ever forest policy was adopted by British colonial government in 1894. However, our own forest policy post-independent was brought forward in 1952 and it recommended that 33% of the area of the country be brought under forest cover. Consider the following. 1. Oil palm, 2. Rubber, 3. Coffee, 4. Tea, 5. Sugarcane. Which among the above is considered plantation crops in India for the purpose of agricultural policy? The correct answer is the first four. So, plantation crops are known as cash crops. These crops are mostly grown at tropical and subtropical areas. These crops are grown for sale but not for local consumption. In India, the major plantation crops include coconut, arecanut, oil palm, etc. However, sugarcane is not a part of it. Lessee's fair is represented by which of the following economies? The correct answer is free enterprise economy. The phrase laissez fair is part of a larger French phrase and translates to let them do. But in this context, it usually means to let go. Laissez fair refers to the economic policy of letting owners of industry and business set working conditions without interference. This policy favors a free market unregulated by the government. Who among the following gave the theory of invisible hands in management? The correct answer is Adam Smith. The unobservable market force that helps the demand and supply of goods in a free market to reach equilibrium automatically is the invisible hand. And the phrase was introduced by Adam Smith in his book, The Wealth of Nations. Headquarters of Central Plantation Crops Research Institute is located at Kasargor, Kerala. Um, Central Plantation Crops Research Institute, or CPCRI, uh, was established in 1970 by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, or ICAR, and has its headquarters in Kudlu, 5 kilometers north of Kasargor. Which among the following is not the primary function of a commercial bank in India? So you can see in the image the primary functions include accepting deposits, making advances and credit creation. Anything else is not a primary function of commercial banks. So in this list of options, the correct answer would be option B, merchant banking. Which among the following are referred often as factories of credit in India? The correct answer is commercial banks. A commercial bank creates credit when it buys securities and pays the seller with its own check. The check is deposited in some bank and a deposit is created for the seller of securities. This is also called credit creation. 
As a result of credit creation, money supply in the economy becomes higher. It is because, because of this credit creation power of commercial banks or the banking system in general that they are called factories of credit or manufacturers of money. Which of the following is known as Treaty of European Union? The correct answer is the Maastricht Treaty. The Maastricht Treaty officially the Treaty on European Union was signed on 7 February 1992 by the members of the European Community in Maastricht, Netherlands, to further European integration. On 9 10 December 1991, the same city hosted the European Council, which drafted this treaty. Which among the following sites near Pondicherry gives best support to the view on an ancient route for trade between Rome and the ancient Tamil country of India? The correct answer is Arikameru. Indo-Roman trade relations was trade between the Indian subcontinent and the Roman Empire. Roman and Greek traders frequented the ancient Tamil country, present-day southern India and Sri Lanka, a center of early Chola trade. So uh, Arikameru is now a part of present-day Aryan Kuppam. That's about three kilometers from modern Pondicherry. Which among the following places Gokal Jat revolted against Mughals in the 17th century? The correct answer is Mathura. In 1669 to 1670, the Jats of Mathura region rose under the leadership of a local zamindar, Gokul. Religion was main factor behind the revolt because Abdul Nabi, local officer of Imperial Mughal government, had destroyed the temples of Hindus and disrespected their women. We note here that Jat uprising occurred at a time Mughal government was by no means weak or imbecile. The Mughal army pursued the Jats and the leader Gokul was captured and executed. However, the rebel did not subdue completely, taking advantage of the civil war amongst the sons of Shah Jahan the Jats again rose in arms and this rebellion finally culminated in establishment of sovereign Jat kingdom under Raja Surajmal with Bharatpur as its capital. Etti, Kavidi and Eredi are names of which among the following Sangam age. So, what do these words mean? So, these words were basically titles that, was, that were given to influential people during that time. So what is Sangam age? The word Sangam is associated with South Indian history where a college or assembly of Tamil scholars and poets flourished under the royal patronage of Pandya kings at Madurai. This age hence is called the Sangam age which extends roughly between 300 BC and 300 AD. After a defeat in prolonged debate on Vedic philosophies, who among the following is known to have become disciple of Adi Shankara and later became the first head of Sringeri Mat? The correct answer is Madhana. Adi Shankara or Shankara was an early 8th century Indian philosopher and theologian. He is the one who consolidated the doctrine of Advaita Vedanta. Shringari Sharada Peetham is one of the four Advaita Vedanta monasteries or mats established by him around 880 in Shringari, Karnatak, the others being Dwarka in Gujarat, Govardhan in Orissa and Jyoti Mat in Uttarakhand. Consider the following statements. Number 1. Chile is the largest producer of copper in the world. Number 2. Chileanization of copper refers to the process used in Chile for copper extraction. Which among the above statements is or are correct? Only number one is correct. Chile is indeed the largest producer of copper in the world. The second statement is incorrect. Chilenization of copper refers to the nationalization of some Chile copper mines that began in 1950s and lasted in three phases. In which year, Government of India launched the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program? The correct answer is 1983. 
the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program or IGMDP was launched in 1983 to develop five missile systems in the country which are Trishul, Akash, Nag, Prithvi and Agni-1. These are all intermediate range surface to surface missiles. In 1990s, the program was expanded to develop the long range Agni missile Sagarika, which is a ballistic missile, Surya, which is a medium range version of the Agni ballistic missile, and Dhanush, which is a naval version of Prithvi. In 2008, the DRDO announced the successful completion of the program. Which among the following organization confers World Press Freedom Prize? The correct answer is UNESCO. Since 1997, UNESCO has uh, started awarding the Guillermo Cano World Press Freedom Prize and it is given to a person or organization or institution that makes outstanding contribution to the defense and or promotion of press freedom anywhere in the world. This $45,000 prize is given on World Press Freedom Day, which is on 3rd of May every year. Which are the three largest opium producing states in our country? So we are talking about legal opium and uh, the order should be in decreasing order of production size. And the correct answer here is Madhya Pradesh followed by Rajasthan followed by Uttar Pradesh. Legal cultivation of opium for medicinal purposes is carried out in India only in selected areas under free licensing conditions. India is the world's largest manufacturer of legal opium for the pharmaceutical industry according to the CIA World Factbook. Which among the following is the first UN agency to award a full membership status to Palestine? The correct answer is UNESCO. In 2011, UNESCO has become the first UN agency to welcome the Palestinians as a full member. The Palestinians got backing from two-thirds of UNESCO's members to become its 195th member. In field of music, which among the following state governments give Tana Riri Award every year? The correct answer is Gujarat. In Gujarat, Varnagar, is famous for two Mughal time sisters, Tana and Riddhi, who sacrificed their lives for maintaining a tradition of singing only before village deity. They were forced to sing in the court of Emperor Akbar but committed suicide by drowning in a well. Gujarat government gives Tana Riddhi award in their honor and recognition. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.